Right by this intersection is where police say someone shot little Zaire multiple times. Her mother tells me it was as they were driving past the Atkinson Library, a man she knows fired at their car. Janae Brown speaking with 12 News on the phone says her nightmare began that Saturday with a phone call. From someone who I thought was a close friend telling me to get me and my kids out of the house. Brown says after leaving with her two daughters and their father, they noticed a white Impala following them. That car, th do you know why it was chasing you? Only God can answer that question because there was no... There was no reason for a gun to be involved. Brown says the car chased them to 19th and Atkinson. Right there by Atkinson Library is when he started letting off shots. Brown says four bullets hit her daughter. First, they rushed her to Fire Station 36 blocks away for help, then to the hospital. According to the criminal complaint, Zaire had through and through gunshot wounds to her head and arm, killing her. They had tried giving her medicine, they tried giving her oxygen, they tried giving her blood. None of it worked. Brown says her daughter was smart, expressive, and is now her little angel. Zaire's second birthday would have been Saturday. She's still having a birthday party. My daughter is going to forever live on. Everyone will know my daughter's name because this is not right. This should be a wake up call to everyone. The criminal complaint reveals more about what happened that night. Prosecutors say after Devon Chapman opened fire, he sent his mother a news article about the one year old that had been shot, saying, quote, Ma, I messed up. Reporting in Milwaukee, Kendall Keys, WISN 12 News.